morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. Uh, today I've got the first ever Evolution engine on my stand. Uh, this is an engine I got uh, as payment for some services I did to a fellow for a fellow. Um, this is an Evolution 40A or Alpha engine. This is the engine that came as a trainer engine. It would be sold by itself with a three blade prop and spinner. And it was also on a Horizon Hobby, I think it was just an Alpha Trainer setup. So this engine was marketed and sold as a trainer because they put training wheels on it to keep people from making too many adjustments. And those training wheels were these little blue anodized pieces here on the low speed needle and on the high speed needle. So obviously the first thing I did was take that crap off. And uh, I have not changed the plug that came in this engine. And I did run this last night, so unfortunately you're not really going to get to see me tune it. I set the carb up per my standard procedure um, that I can put a video link on for this. And I had to make some low speed adjustments to it last night when I was doing my run, but the engine ran fine. And I've got an APC 10.6 prop here and some Morgan's 10% Omega. So now I'm going to show you how this engine runs and uh, we'll talk about a little bit more after that. Okay, so as you can see, this engine runs. It runs pretty well. Um, 
I'll say a little bit better than pretty well. It runs pretty decent. Uh, you can see I had it holding a, I don't know, about a 3,000, 3,200 RPM idle. For a two-stroke engine, you're not going to really sit there and try and get it to idle below 3,000 RPM and expect it to sit there and do it at least not one an engine of this caliber. Uh, typically, lower idles are really something you look for more in a four-stroke engine. But this is fine. This is an acceptable idle. Um, the transition's pretty good. It might be a little bit better. It seemed like it was a bit better last night than today, but it wasn't too bad. And I did make one other little adjustment there. Overall, I would say this engine is a decent engine. Um, you can see it ran. It ran pretty well. Had a good top end. And it's extremely quiet. Now the reason it's extremely quiet is because in the last 15, 20 years or 25 years, they've been trying to make these things a lot quieter. So obviously there's some baffling in, in that exhaust that I could take out and really open this thing up and it would be much louder and it would probably produce a lot more or produce some more RPM. But it's not a bad little engine. It seems to run fairly well for the short time I ran it. I didn't seem to have any issues with it. Now, the question is, would I buy one of these? No. I wouldn't pay my own money for one of these engines. They're Chinese made engines and I did take the head off and the back plate off and I looked inside of it and the casting quality is just average. It's grainy and rough looking and they've got these little stylish things, features on it, the swoop thing and it just doesn't do it for me. This isn't an engine I would purchase. I wouldn't spend any money on this brand of engines but it seemed to run all right. Longevity, no idea. But as you can see, it's a decent runner. So thank you for watching.